going to follow with the second presentation from uh, Brazil, and it is um, a presentation from Alexandra Matilde Rezende Rosa with the title of Actions for Better Gender Inclusion and Management Integrated Water Resources. We are really very looking forward. Handing over to you, Hari, to play the video. Thank you in advance. Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer and I'm going to present the research that was done by Alexandra Matilde Rezende Rosa. She's a master's student that was orientated by Professor Kerli Santos and Professor Vera Lucia de Miranda Guarda. Uh, the theme of the research was actions for better gender inclusion in integrate water resource management. First, the problem addressed by the presented research and project. Why are women the most affected by water scarcity? Why water and gender? Role of woman in the community. Uh, water is the, is the source of life and development and gender because women make up half of the world's population, according to Allegria 2004, page 6. Women's participation in water management. Uh, the negative side is that they are outside interests and participation in the decision-making process. They are a minority in high decisions-making positions, cultural and historical difference in the roles of men and women, and also women with excessive activities, productive, domestic, and community, low participation and low commitment. The positive side, they play a central role in water management and protection, greater sensitive to the environmental cause, make decision-making space more efficient and democratic, Brazilian legislation uh, and international meetings encourage that. The importance is settled in Dublin Conference 1992 with uh, number five, gender, gender equality, and number six, clean water and sanitation. What was unique in this approach is that this study shows the situation of women working in bodies and councils that participate in water management in a city in southeast of Brazil called Ouro Preto in Minas Gerais. It allows women to, women to express their views on participation in water management and their working relationships with men. The key fights, proposals and actions decrease in social inequalities. I believe that a complete change in thinking is a necessity that needs, first of all, to make inequalities visible. These inequalities, above all, include class and race. It is necessary, in addition to the question, are there women in the formulation and application of public policies, to know who are the women we want there. In this sense, in order to black peripheral, indigenous, and peasant women occupy positions of power. It is necessary to repair them for the many violence experience, which includes direct access to water, house, employment, education, etc. It was said by the interview uh, number 37, that was a woman. And then, gender mainstreaming policies and practices. They become imperative forms of inclusion, considering that women who perform, perform these dual tax, task go through the same selection process of those who do not exercise what favors mainly men. It was said by also by a woman, the interview number 21, that also said there should not only be space for participation, but conditions for women to participate training support, transport, toy library and snacks seeming irrelevant, but they are essential for inclusion. Uh, increased participation of women in decision-making process. First, organizations should invite more women. Two, quotas for women. While the patriarchal logic overlaps in social relations, quotas for women in all space seem to be the most immediate way to way out to think about. It was said by a man that was the interviewer number twenty number nine to one. Sorry. More equal division of tasks. Responsibility must be shared as most household tasks use water, said by interviewer 
uh, number 43, that was a woman. Changes in the labor market. The old representations of what is to be an ideal worker no longer fits the current labor market model. Change in legislation. To the extent that the role of men in private life is valid, for example, laws are needed to make this participation possible. Empowerment through education, the union in search of autonomy. Always encourage social participation in all spheres of society. Take these discussions to where people are, said by a man that wore uh, interview number six, who also said, Woman is, needs to be more enlightened about these opportunities to participate in consultative and decision making bodies of environmental policy. So, incorporate a gender perspective in water management, changes in social representations, recognition of existing inequalities. I think this inclusion should uh, deserve more political involvement from women, said by interview number five, who was a man. I don't have it. I think women don't need to want to enter man's workspace. We have to respect the difference. There is work that's better done by men than women and vice versa said by a woman sorry said by a man the interview number 17. i suggest women fill the gaps left by men said by a man interview interview with 19. bring this agenda to the debate in college aid organizations for example said by interview 46. The public policy, the political interested, uh, political will to truly resolve these issues could solve the problem. In my opinion, the only way to solve this is with the class struggle itself, with insurgency protests, said by a man in interview number 11. We would not have, we would, sorry, we would have to think of some strategic program to sensitize and call women into this discussion. It is necessary that a program like this is taken seriously by the government with investment and continuity. Many programs linked to the environment start and are later abandoned. In a capitalist system like ours, water is, in, is seen as a commodity and not as a common good and fundamental human right. So the priority of source becomes that of the productive sector of capital because of the historical inequality of access to all. There has always been an equal access to God, goods in our country, include education, health, and sanitation. The conclusion. The study revealed the significant preponderance of men and male hierarchy in positions and positions how do they find gender inequalities in the water management. The data presented allow us to draw an overview of the profile of the representatives of the municipal bodies, councils, and committees, who are mostly male from the middle and upper classes, have a high level of education, and are between 34 and 41 years old. They recognize the division of text and the predominance of a patriarchal system that reduces the participation of women in decision-making meetings on water. The woman is still the main actor in the private space. There are gender inequalities in organizational structures and in the social roles of men and women in society. Community participation in decisions is ineffective. And in the female discourse, is it, it's clear that decision makers is commanded by the male figure as they are greater numbers in senior positions and in politics which ends up giving them power and autonomy to dictate norms and roles. There is a need for a policy that promotes demo democratic legitimacy and inclusion of women as their participation in water management is necessary, not only with their greater presence, but also with greater decision-making capacity within these organizations, boards, and councils. In public life, to increase the participation of women in decision-making process, several actions can be proposed, such as those that promote women's empowerment, educational and training, and policies that enable access and control over property, 
and land by women that encourage female leadership, among others. So, how was this find related to the summit teams? In times of pandemic, the importance of women in decision-making process for water management lies in making their needs even better understood, because normally men's side and their needs are not taken into account. Thank you so much. These are the reference. Thank you very much also from our side for this very interesting presentation uh, from the university in Brazil. It's beautiful to have this international uh, ground here all together.